AI images are taking over everywhere. And the fact that you could create pretty much any idea you think of in seconds is pretty amazing. However, we don't want to waste this ability by just creating funny images of a cat driving a car or whatever you think is funny. We want to use this ability to make some money. So in this video, I'm going to go over multiple ways you can make money using mid-journey images. As always, I'm going to make this a concise to the point video in which you could take action on. Before we get started, sign up to my newsletter creator hustles and receive seven legitimate AI side hustles you could use to make money today. These are real side hustles that can be done with little money and are easy to get going. My newsletter will be in the description and pinned in the comments. All right, so the first idea is stock images, uh, specifically Adobe stock images. Uh, they now accept AI images on Adobe, which is a crazy opportunity. When people download your images on Adobe, you get paid in royalties. Uh, the key to the side hustle would be finding underserved images on the platform, uh, find out what images they're missing and uh, images that people might want and go after that. Uh, for each image, you need to make sure that it's 300 DPI, which means dots per inch. And there are many free uh, tools that you can find on Google that could do this for you. Um, also, you need to make sure that you don't create images from news events and also don't do art in the style of another artist. Otherwise, you could risk your image getting taken down. Um, if you want to get started with this side hustle, make sure you read their full rules on using AI images. And here's my challenge for this side hustle. Uh, upload a thousand images to Adobe and see what happens. All right, so side hustle number two is to use Printful, Etsy, and Midjourney. Uh, long story short, Printful is a drop shipping company that allows you to connect to an Etsy store and every order that you get is created and shipped by them. Uh, so every image that you create with Midjourney, you can upload it to Printful and then um, connect it to Etsy as well. Uh, with this method, you also wanna try and find underserved design ideas as well. Uh, Everbee is probably the best tool to do this with. You should choose a niche like stickers, wall art, and then make multiple designs for each underserved keyword you find on Everbee. Uh, it may take a while for this side hustle to get going. It's not going to be profitable after one month, or at least it's very rare. So in order to see success, you need to stick for this, stick with this for at least six months. All right, so now let's talk about side hustle number three, and that's creating children's books or books in general using um, Midjourney and then uploading them to Amazon KDP. Uh, you can come up with your own story and then you can get some help putting the story together using ChatGPT. Just don't use ChatGPT for the whole story as you can end up copywriting someone else's books. Uh, you then use Midjourney for each scene. And as you could see beside me, I created a space superhero and then created a scene of the same superhero fighting an alien. Uh, this is all thanks to Midjourney Web Edition, which allows you to easily use character references and then add a prompt to it. Uh, once you're done with all your scenes, you can use Canva book templates to put it all together and then publish it on Amazon KDP. Um, here's a challenge using this side hustle. Uh, you can create a list of themes like kindness, diversity, anti-bullying, loyalty, honesty, and more, and then create a book or two for each theme. All right, so here's the last side hustle you could do with Midjourney, and it's creating a Pinterest blog. Uh, Midjourney and Pinterest are a match made in heaven. Uh, you can easily create images via Midjourney that will be click worthy on Pinterest. All you have to do is choose a niche and then get to work. Uh, for this example, I'm going to choose the phone wallpaper niche. And many people are looking for wallpaper ideas on Pinterest with different themes. All you have to do is find a keyword tool. I personally use keysearch.co. Type in phone wallpaper ideas and it will give you a list of keywords you could use to create um, different blog posts. Then you just create 10 to 20 ideas for each keyword and make each of those a pin. And personally, I use Pin Generator for that. And I recently did a video of how I generated 1,100 pins in just four days. And I'll link that above uh, right now. Um, so here's the example I created um, for the wallpaper niche. And the prompt was minimal line art of a rowboat going down a strong river 
with text that says keep pushing um, black and white. And if you put um, the text that you want in quotations, it makes it a lot easier for MidJourney to understand. And it's getting really good at adding text to images, which is great for uh, this side hustle. All right, so that's it for this video. If you found it helpful, please give it a like. And if you haven't yet, subscribe. Uh, if you want those seven uh, free AI side hustles, I have it pinned in the comments and in the description.